The evolution of whales is a unique story that encompasses millions of years and involves numerous adaptations from land-dwelling animals to entirely aquatic ones. Whales can be traced back to terrestrial creatures that lived around 50 million years ago. Were you aware that the existence of whales predates the existence of humanity? Did you know whales were originally terrestrial animals that could only survive on land? So how did they go on to become the majestic mammal of the oceans that we see today? From an evolutionary perspective, the evolution of whales has been one of the most exciting mammalian journeys. Whales grew from terrestrial to semi-aquatic, finally becoming the fully aquatic whales we see today. Whales belong to Cystacea, an order of marine mammals which includes toothed whales like dolphins and orcas and baleen whales like blue and humpback whales. Let's discover the journey of whales from being terrestrial beings to becoming the ones we see today. The first whales arrived 50 million years ago, long after the dinosaurs died before the first humans. Their predecessor was most likely an ancient artiodactyl, a four-legged, even-toed, hoofed land animal suitable for running. It's difficult to believe that whales originate from a species of hooved animals called ungulates. The earliest ancestors of whales were four-legged, hoofed mammals called misonicides that lived on land. Their distinctive features were their long skulls and large teeth, which helped them eat meat. Their skulls, however, resembled those of live whales and were unlike any other mammal, especially in the inner ear area encircled by a bone wall. Frequently, seemingly slight features give vital evidence to link creatures highly specialized for their lifestyles, such as whales, with their less extreme-looking relatives. Over time, the whales began differentiating through evolution into different kinds. The offspring of the first land-roaming cetaceans are supposed to have gradually gravitated to aquatic environments, in some cases to seek safety from danger or to feed. As time passed, some Masonicids began to inhabit marine environments and evolved into semi-aquatic creatures called protocetids. These animals had elongated bodies and webbed feet which allowed them to spend significant time in the water. They had adaptations for swimming such as a streamlined body shape and a tail with powerful muscles. One of them was Ambulacetus, a four-legged whale with presumably webbed legs capable of swimming and walking, and bone study has shown that it could dwell in fresh and saline water. Its inner ear was modified to survive in the water. Around 50 to 40 million years ago, a group of protocetids called Archaeocetes appeared. These early whales feature a streamlined body and a tail, allowing them to sail across the sea smoothly. Their limbs, due to their extended periods of swimming, slowly lost function and hence transformed into flippers, which allowed them to propel in water. The subsequent changes were observed around 35 million years ago. Another major transition occurred with the emergence of Bacillosaurids and Dorodontids. These fully aquatic whales no longer possessed hind limbs, and their forelimbs were modified into flippers. They had adaptations like streamlined bodies, a tail with horizontal flukes for powerful swimming, and a blowhole for breathing at the water's surface. Odontocetes, tooth whales, and mystocetes, or baleen whales, are the two main types of whales found today. About 34 million years ago, its common ancestor likely lacked baleen and could not employ echolocation. This displays how whale species have changed dramatically in under 5 million years, most likely due to rapid biological changes in the seas. Another rapid diversification of cetacean species occurred 15 million years ago as ocean cooling altered the currents. Various mollusk and crustacean species eaten by certain whales also grew during the same period. Modern whales appeared around 25 million years ago, and the evolutionary line split into two main branches, toothed whales and baleen whales. Tooth whales, like dolphins and orcas, retained their teeth and adaptation to hunting and capturing prey using echolocation. Baleen whales, such as blue whales and humpback whales, evolved baleen plates instead of teeth, which allowed them to filter feed on tiny marine organisms like krill. Interestingly, all dolphins, including porpoises, are classified as whales, as they are more related to their tooth counterparts. Over multiple millennia, whales continue to diversify into various species and adapted to different ecological niches and oceans worldwide. They evolved larger body sizes, enhanced feeding strategies, and sophisticated communication systems. Whales are commonly regarded as surpassing humans in various aspects, yet it's important to note that their adaptations can be attributed to the loss of genes. This loss of genes during the course of evolution has significantly influenced their ability to become bigger, heavier, and better diverse. 
Modern whales are highly adapted marine mammals with diverse forms and behaviors, ranging from the massive blue whale, the largest animal on Earth, to the agile and social dolphins. The evolution of whales is an excellent example of how natural selection and gradual adaptations can transform a terrestrial mammal into a fully aquatic marine creature. As you can see, the journey of the whales we see today has been intriguingly intense, filled with consistent changes. If you like this video and find the evolution of species interesting, make sure you give us a like. Share and subscribe. Let us know in the comment section which topics you'd like us to discover. And also, forgive me for any mispronunciations that might have occurred during this reading.